Hello, everybody, and welcome to Unapologetics. I am Brentley, and uh, today I'm going to try to do something a little different. I'm going to do. Uh, I want to kind of give a a window into what we do here on the podcast, the, just the audio podcast, because the audio podcast is completely different. Uh, I go through uh, like articles instead of, of videos. So on this uh, this week's podcast, I just wanted to do a YouTube video instead. So that's what I'm doing uh, here today. So um, I want to get into this. So it's it's basically how to, it's, it's literally called how to cast out demons by yourself, <laughs> you know, because, uh, you know, it can be dangerous, you know, so you usually want to spot her. <laughs> but this is, you know, he's trying to help you out. But <laughs> so uh, it's see, going it's kinda, to be an incredible awesome. journey it's today so as you go through the process of self deliverance. And because this is being broadcast, you're probably going to experience freedom like never before, right there in your own home, right there in your own office, in your own car, wherever you're at. I am so excited for you to be a part of this. Now, <laughs> it is Freedom Friday. My name is Mike Signorelli. I'm the lead pastor of V1 Church, and we are a New York City based global v- church. V1 Church. Like it's the first version of a church. I, I How much you want to bet that's what it actually fucking means? It's like, we're the first version of the church. Like we're the way, like the way, way, way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Says Andrew says anything like masturbation. I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> but you know, he'll probably get there somehow. I don't they usually do. I don't know. Somehow it always comes up. Masturbation is just always right in the tip of their mind's tongue. Hmm. That didn't uh, I don't know. That sounded kind of kind of gross there. I don't know. Right. And I'm gonna give you a crash course on how to break generational curses. They do exist. I don't care what bad theology you heard. <laughs> And I'm going to help you get free from demons. We're going to talk about it today. Just just come out with that shit. (laughs) Yeah, generational curses. We're just going to go over that, you know, curses uh, from the witches. And because that's who does the curses. Like, what what the fuck are you talking about? (laughs) This is insane. All right, cool. I'm not holding back. Uh, we, I told y'all. <laughs> I can see the excitement oh. in the chat already. So let's talk about re- <laughs> repentance, okay? It says in Galatians chapter 3, verse 13, it says it like this. I am redeemed from the curse through the blood of Jesus. I am redeemed from the curse by the blood of Jesus. And you need to understand that repentance is saying, I deserve the full penalty for my sin. I deserve hell. I deserve death. The wages of sin are death. The gift of God is eternal life. And so it's the word is redeem because you deserve it. Your ancestors, they sinned. Your, the they people don't. in your bloodline, your mother and your father. I, I feel like this is what fucks with a lot of people's heads, like, you know, in re, like with, within religious uh, circles like this, right? Because it's all about you deserving bad things like you deserve to die you deserve to be tortured just just from being born the second you're born you're deserving of being tortured for all eternity right like that's the first thing like you haven't done anything to actually deserve that you deserve that just for being a person that exists you know and i swear i think that really fucks with uh with these christians minds you know it just it messes them up what the fuck just happened here god damn it um, but yeah, because they're, they're, they're always talking about how you deserve this evil shit, you know, this, this to be tortured forever and everything. And it's like, but Jesus is there to forgive you for it. So it's, it's actually good though. It's actually good. It's like the, in the bad religion song, it's like, it's a cause and a cure. It's like, we're going to, you know, we're going to give you an illness, a pretend illness, and then pretend to cure it. You know, that's, that's what religion is in a fucking nutshell. Curse is now broken and we're going to begin to, to declare the word. Okay. Yeah. Cigarettes, any paraphernalia. Okay. You guys need to be obedient because (laughs) repentance always carries with it action, 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 action. Okay. In Galatians chapter three, verse 14, the next scripture says, I am. Like how much? Like is this dude like on a bunch of coke all the time? Like I don't know how. Like who gets this hyper about everything? But all right, I don't know. the seed of Abraham and his blessing is mine. Okay, the seed of Abraham. What does that mean? 
It means I'm a Gentile. It means I'm a sinner. But I have been engrafted into this spiritual lineage Lineage. now. And I am the seed of Abraham. And I have access to all the blessings that he has. I want everybody to say right now, I repent for my sins. Say it with me. Get it out of your mouth, okay? I repent for all my sins. Father, forgive me. What? Are we really doing this? I repent. Now say it with me. Wash me clean with your blood. We're supposed to be going over how to get rid of fucking demons, man. Like, come on. We all know the 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 asking forgiveness from Jesus shit. Can we move on? Let's let's go. Come on. I give my life to you in full surrender. Oh my good God. I am going to skip past that. This is annoying. (laughs) Right there, you just repented. There is no doubt in my mind that right now, if you said that that you have become a believer. So I don't want you to go back and say, am I saved? Am I not saved? You're free. Your spirit is free. You're redeemed. You're going to heaven. Praise God. But there's got to be more work. Funny, this whole thing was like a big sermon. And then like at the last second, he's like, oh yeah. And you just say like, Jesus, get out to demons. Anyway. All right. End of the video. Like done. All right. Mo- moving on. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's done. Jesus. Because demons will hide in your physical body. Oh. Demons will hide in your emotions. Demons will hide in your mind. Come on, someone's coughing right now. And so I'm going to take you through a process of renouncing. What? Now, I'm going to have to rely on the Holy Spirit. Now that you just accepted Christ as your Savior, you are a believer. And I just have to trust that the Holy Spirit is going to help me with this wherever you're located. So what I want you to do, yeah, come on. Somebody says, I am a sobbing mess. Thank you, Jesus. We haven't even started yet. Oh my god, <laughs> that was these just step people, one. Man. That was re- these poor people. I I always just feel so bad for them. You know, it's like I mean, it, it's easy to make fun of them and everything. You know, because just what they say is so ridiculous. But these people are just, you know, a, a lot of the 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 you know the people that subscribe to these videos and everything, they're they're sad. You know, they're going through stuff and like the the shit that they are presenting them as solutions is garbage. It's absolute garbage. So they're just a big emotional fucking mess all the time, you know? And so once a week they get to just like cry and sing and all this stuff at at church, you know, and it feels like a a renewal or whatever, but really they're just crying, you know, that's what crying does. It's, it gets all that shit out. It gets the boo hoos out, you know, that's, (laughs) then you feel better because you got the boo hoos out. (laughs) Repent. When you repent, you are saying, I repent. Uh, Jesus, I am yours. Yeah, even some of you watch this comment. It says, the demons didn't want me to say repentance. I was struggling, but nothing will stop me from being set free. Okay, someone's already what? vomiting right now. Vomit? Someone's already vomiting. Look at these comments. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He hasn't if you haven't done anything yet. What are you talking about? Just saying the word repentance? Like, the demon's coming. The demon's coming. What are you fucking, what did you eat? What did you eat today? <laughs> like oh yeah i had shellfish for breakfast what you think that's it you think it's a shell it's a shellfish okay my bad jesus if you were held back from saying what i just told you to say you have to get those words out jesus christ is lord i want you to say that jesus christ is lord of my life i belong to him come on say it oh my jesus god we went through christ this is lord i belong Okay, now right now you are saved. Now the next step is breaking curses. Okay, the way that you break curses is you renounce, you renounce. But the Holy Spirit has to help in this moment because I may not, I may not actually cover the totality of all the things that need to be renounced. So let me give you an example. I break and release myself (laughs) from all generational curses and iniquities as a result of the sins of my ancestors in the name of Jesus. Did you hear that phrase? I'm going to ask all of you to say that with me now. Say this. I'm going to break it up so that you can get this out. I want you to say this. I break and release myself. From all- so this is from Nitty. Um, So Satan falls from heaven and is a master eugenicist on fallen angels to make them understand influencing human bodies at a molecular level. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Right? That's got to be the case. <laughs> Jeez, how crazy. 
uh, all look. generational curses and iniquities as a result of the sins of my ancestors in Jesus name. This okay, now like, say this next one shit? with me. What's that shit in psychology? It's like, and I, I'm, I think that it's not, I, I think it's been debunked or whatever at this point, but it's called like uh evolutionary psychology or something like that, where you're like, that. that's almost what this sounds like, you know, where you're like, you have all these tendencies because of our evolution and all that. And so it's like, now we're kind of pushing back on all those tendencies uh, that we like gained while we were evolving and whatnot. And now we're like at a point where we kind of need like some of those things that uh, the, those survival mechanisms that we used to have when we were evolving and all that, they're kind of useless now. And so now we're just like, you know, have anxiety all the time and shit like that. That's almost what this reminds me of. Now, I don't know if that's true. I've heard that, the, the you know, that uh, that has de de been debunked. So I, I don't know. But <laughs> that's what this reminds me of. Just like generational curses and stuff. It's like, <laughs> you know. Kim, keep saying it. I break and release myself. Come on, say it. Break I, break and and release release my, I break and release myself my, break from and all release curses. This. On all, both all sides curves. of my family, fast. I can't. back 60 generations, back you 60. have to say this. You keep I on break repeat. and release myself You're interrupting me, man. on both sides of my family. <laughs> now say this with me. I, and just okay. say, I'm going to just go it. wide right now. I'm going to say this wide, okay? Go Some wide. of you, your stomach's beginning to turn. We're getting ready because we're what we're doing right now is breaking all contracts and all curses so that you can get free. Here's the next one. Yeah, just 60. That's I all. need you to say this. <laughs> I break all curses of witchcraft, oh. sorcery, and divination in the name of Jesus. Say it. I break all well, curses that, of witchcraft. <laughs> So as Aunt Jir says, uh, maybe they're throwing up because of the emotions and anxiety that were built up during this process. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, uh, that's almost what it seems like. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's crazy. <laughs> Craft, sorcery, and divination in the name of Jesus. Now say this. Now, now say that. Oh, not that if part. I break and release myself from all curses of pride and rebellion in the name of Jesus. Someone's ears just popped open. Do you hear that? No. Someone's ears just popped open. See, what? there's deafness. It's being broken. Things are beginning to occur what? right now. Things are beginning yes, to occur. We're working your <laughs> yeah, pretty much at any time, anywhere, things are beginning to occur. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? What do you like? somebody's ears but it's so weird when they start to just do this because there's no way to check on any of this right there's no way to be like did someone's ears perk you know like open up or whatever like how do we check that oh yeah fuck you you can't you can't do it you know? but he's just gonna sit up there and act like it's all supernatural and crazy but I, it seems like maybe he's reading the the chat and people are just saying my ears just popped open or whatever and he's like oh man nailed it Nailed it. Like I, I'm winning, winning. <laughs> like... Your chin. Say this now. I break and release myself from all curses of death and destruction in the name of Jesus. Say it now. Say it now. Say this now. I break. And We're telling me what to do, all man. Come curses on. of sickness and infirmity in the name of Jesus. See, and this is kind of it, it, this. It's almost like seeing the magic trick, like how the magic trick's done, right? Because like when people are in, when when you're in close proximity with someone like this, this sounds a bit like I mean, not to me, but I mean, it <laughs> to a lot of people, it sounds a lot more compelling when they're right there in front of you, right? You know, and you kind of get this like like everybody's like you need all the validation of everybody around you, but when it's just you on video. You look like a fucking nutter, man. Like, what are you doing? Like, it just, it, it it removes all of the magical, like, feelings and all this stuff. Because a lot of times, too, when they're doing this in person or at their church or whatever, they always have that one, you know, fucking idiot on stage, like, playing guitar. And he's just doing, like, the three chords, you know, doing the, I don't know, the, the emotional <laughs> chords or whatever, you know? 
uh, uh, but he doesn't have any of that here. So, so it just feels really weird. It's like watching the Big Bang Theory without the laugh track. You know, it just doesn't make any sense anymore. You like don't even know what's happening. It's like, is this funny? Or I, don't, I don't know. I can't tell. Say it. <laughs> I, I break and rebuke all curses of sickness and infirmity in the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to say this now. I break and release myself from all curses of poverty. Absolutely. Curses of poverty. Okay, we're going to have to get back to that. But Nitty said uh, that's dangerous. People could die believing this works. And that is absolutely true. That That's why this is so dangerous. Everything this guy is doing with this. Oh, I'm, you know, the other pastors don't talk about demons enough and stuff. All this bullshit. Like he he's leading, you know, mentally uh, unhealthy people like that believe in this shit. It's just validating to all the worst aspects of their mental condition, you know, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a problem, but, uh, the, the spirit of poverty, what the fuck is that? Like you're born into poverty. Oh, I, I guess that's the curses that go back, huh? Like, why well, your great, 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 great grandfather was poor. So ah, sorry, sorry. You know, what are you supposed to do? That's how money works, dude. Like, I don't <laughs> know what to tell you. <laughs> Jesus. Lack and debt in the name of Jesus. What? Come on. I break and release okay. myself from all curses of poverty, lack, and debt in the name of Jesus. So basically, it's like it's funny because he's like, you're it like it's such a it's such a profound uh recipe, you know, to get rid of demons, right? And then it's just okay, I I I I break curses in the name of Jesus. I uh I can do stuff better with my finances in the name of jesus uh <laughs> that's all this is it's like just say whatever it is you want in the name of jesus though and that's <laughs> that's the that's the whole fucking recipe right there <laughs> really i know it's super complex like how would you know you know can't figure out how to do this on your own that's crazy <laughs> experiencing problems with the stream on facebook go to my youtube channel and watch on youtube many people are commenting saying that it's skipping it's having issue but i need you to go over to youtube now that's if you need devil. to go over to youtube okay it's, i break and release because of george soros you know he's this fucking ah, you know he hired his, his internet uh, hacker guys, you know, that is loyalists, his, his internet hacker, hacker loyalists. Peace myself from all curses of rejection in the name of Jesus. Say it out loud. I break. Come on. Look at that. Someone's ears, someone else's ears just opened. That's two people that their ears just opened. My <laughs> two, two, two people. On. Oh. They're, they're now you're messing up for me. That is this. What up? Just head. Sometimes it does that. It's just open. Come on. There, there is physical healing that's connected. Someone else's. This is three people. Their ears just started popping. Somebody what? says I'm burping. <laughs> that's because you're getting deliverance right now. You're getting deliverance right now. What? Come on. Someone says I'm. I'm, I'm is everybody just like <laughs> any bodily function? Like write it down. Write it down. Send it to him. Look. I'm burping. I just burped. I don't pay no attention to the fucking beer I'm drinking, but I burped though. That's a demon, right? That's a demon. That's got to be a demon. He's like, it is. It's totally a demon. See, I knew it. I knew it was a demon. <laughs> yawning and my leg is shaking. Come on, there's more. I'm yawning. There's more. There's more. Someone says, like, my, wait. My, my jaw. Like, way to tell him that he sucks at this shit. Like, I'm actually really bored and tired i'm yawning right now it's a demon though right that's a demon coming out it's not that i'm bored and tired I'm sore Jesus. it's because you're getting deliverance right now of course it okay is, yeah. let me keep going i need you to say these this is <laughs> partly self-deliverance okay i want you to say this it's exactly not i break and release myself from all this is you doing stuff man you're just doing the same thing you would do at church or whatever. You're just doing it in a video and people are responding. But like they're responding as if you're the one doing it. There's, this isn't like a how to do it yourself type of thing. Like, <laughs> except that it's so stupidly simple. <laughs> I guess it is. All verses of rejection in Jesus name. 
Now say this, I break and release myself from all curses of double-mindedness and schizophrenia in the name of Jesus. Oh, oh man, man you I have felt like... that. Somebody's ears just popped open <laughs> as well. There's about four or five. When is it popped open? What the fuck is he talking about? Like your ears pop, but they don't pop open. That's not how ears work. They're sort of already open. Like, and when you pop, it's just like sort of some of the bones and stuff like moving around in there. But it isn't them opening up. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, I don't know what they're experience, experiencing, but it's it's very contrived, it seems. <laughs> yeah. Five people that are receiving hearing as a result, like their ears are popping out open during the broadcast. Many of you yawning. Oh, are those supposed to be fucking Somebody says, I'm shaking people? and I cannot stop. Come on, yeah. we're not done yet. Oh, stupid. So these are supposed to be deaf people that are like, oh, I can hear all of a sudden. Like how like and how difficult would it be to just be like, hey Toby, can you like go back there and pretend to be a bunch of people and say that I'm healing them? Cool. Now like get in that chat. Let's do this. We got we got some people to trick. <laughs> yeah, we're just getting started. I haven't even, I mean, guys, we're just getting warmed up. I need you to say these out loud. Say this sentence. I break and release myself from the curse of Jezebel and Ahab in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Yeah. Come on, say that. I pee myself. I break and release myself That's from the demon. curses That's of Jezebel and That's Ahab in the name of Jesus. Come on, now say this next one. I break oh, and weird. release myself from all curses of divorce and separation in the name of Jesus. Say it out loud. Come on, I felt the authority of the Lord on this one. I break yeah. and release <laughs> What does that feel all... like? What's the authority of the Lord feel like? What is that? It's like kind of like a tingle, you know? It's sort of like a sneeze, but feels better. Verses <laughs> of separation and divorce in Jesus' name. Say this next it? one. I break and release myself from all curses of lust and perversion in Jesus' name. Oh. I break and release myself from all curses of love oh that was mine i guess that was a, a demon just coming right out of me because of all the lust and perversion i did all the time <laughs> lust and perversion in jesus name come on now here's a big one this is a big one this is a big one you have to say this out loud <laughs> we're in the renounce phase okay here's the next one <laughs> yeah yeah it's demons I break and release myself from all curses of confusion and mental illness in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Confusion and mental illness. This is where it's really like what, oh, what Nitty was saying like earlier, like he's, he's promoting himself too. And it makes sense too, because the people that would be compelled by this guy would be people with serious mental health issues. So like now he's almost calling them out like, Hey, you know, people with mental health issues come, come to me and I can, I can fix it. Meanwhile, he's validating their delusion, you know, by saying like, yeah, these demons are actually inside you and everything. And that, you know, uh, uh, like this type of stuff, demon possession and everything is a big part of that, those kinds of illnesses, you know, it, it's really sad. I mean, honestly, it's just really sick that he's doing this type of shit. Although I don't think he realizes that he's doing this because he seems to be just as ill as them, but it's still a problem. Uh, you know, it's just grow. Next one. I break and release myself from all curses of confusion and mental illness. Here's the next one. I break and release myself from all curses of idolatry in Jesus' name. Well, you're not doing now this on next that. one. Like you sound like very fucking confused. <laughs> You can't. You brought us all here for a how to get rid of demons video, and then you're just like, you know, repeat after me type of stuff, and just be like, just say whatever you don't like, and then in Jesus' name, it goes away. Like that's it. You might as well just end a video. You don't need to do anything else. I thought it was going to be a little bit more complicated. Than it's going to be big, very big, very big, very big. I need you guys to to what really do this out loud. He <laughs> like okay. He starts glitching out very big, very big, very big, very big. <laughs> I break and release myself from all curses causing accidents and premature death. Say it out loud. 
I break and release myself from all curses on. of premature death and accidents now. So now no accidents is going to happen. <laughs> what are you talking about? So if some guy is just like, I am sure I have a pre, <laughs> a, like a early death demon inside me. That's what's happening here. That's what's about to happen. I'm about to have an early death because I can just feel it. I can feel that I got that early death demon. And <laughs> it's like, well, if you pray the prayer and get rid of it, oh, now you don't die. <laughs> it's, like, it's a cause and a cure. Jesus. We have a few more. We need a few, a few more, more. and then, and we're going to, yeah, come on. I see this. Some of you are saying, slow down. That's all right. Let the Holy Spirit lead you because you've already <laughs> repented. Many of you have discarded and thrown away in objects that demons were connected. Like, can you slow down with the demon magic, man? We're trying to, you know, you're kind of spitting. You're, we're missing. The magic is missing us because you're moving too fast. <laughs> that's how, that's how, uh, you know. Demon defeating magic works, you know. Did too. Many of you have already repented. I we went through that. Now we are we are re, we are renouncing. We are beginning to renounce the sins of ancestors. We're breaking curses right now, and you need to go through this. This is I'm going through this list because you have to let the Holy Spirit lead you. He's going to tell you. He's going to guide you. I repent and break the curse. Come on, of Jezebel, of Ahab. <laughs> of witchcraft, of sorcery, of divorce and separation, of oh, mental I, illness. I said sorcery. I thought he was so going to be like, of Soros and all of his, <laughs> his minions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some of you are experiencing so many manifestations. That's just proof that you're receiving deliverance. So you have oh, to renounce oh, okay. the sins of ancestors. So it's more the the proof that like you know uh as long as you pretend like it's real then you get proof you know just act like it's true and just live your entire life as if it's true and then you'll find you know proof will come eventually somehow maybe i don't know probably i mean if you just decide it's proof then it's proof okay that's how that works <laughs> jesus sins of those who went before you even things that you did of the occult Occult practices. Exactly. Yeah, come yeah. on. If you're crying, continue. This is the point right here. Yeah, so Aunt, Aunt Jerry says, calling me uh, mental illnesses demons causes people to not seek treatment in favor of exorcisms. Exactly. That That's the actual danger here. And clearly, the people that have these kind of mental conditions are going to be drawn to, to people exactly like this. So it's just... He's doing so much damage with one fucking video and doesn't realize it. But, Coming out. I want, oh, let me give you another one. Yes, okay. this is a big one. Say this with me. I <laughs> break and one. release myself from all spoken curses. From all, from all negative words spoken against me what? and by others and by those in authority. And I bless them. I'm going to do this one again slowly. This is a major, major curse that's about to break. And you're going to start to get freedom. I'm going to do this Come one on. slowly. Just Can I fucking curse people just by talking badly about them? Can I do that? Can I talk like with my, like your boss at work or something? You can be like, yeah, that guy's an idiot. And he's all of a sudden like, I don't know how to think anymore. Like, <laughs> you know? that's great. That's great. I didn't know I could do that. That's, uh, that's pretty, pretty. Like nice. say it yeah. after me. I break and release myself from all spoken curses and negative Whoever. words spoken oh, against wait. Are they just say, talking like curses like fuck and shit and all that type of stuff? <laughs> like the guys are fucking shit. That's who that is. Like th those type of curses? Because who's out just speaking curses on a regular? <laughs> like it's just like people out there and they're like, I curse thee. <laughs> you know? like, I spoke and curse thee. That's what I do. What? That's not a thing. People and do, by right? others right? and by those in authority. And by. Uh, and I bless oh, okay. them. Say it. And bless I bless them. them. What? Say it. I bless Oop. them. The demons hate. Hold on. Oh, okay. Hold on. He's about to explain it. When you bless those that curse you, say, I bless oh. them. I bless the authority that spoke the word over me. That was negative. 
I oh. blessed the parents that told me something that hurt me. The demons in there are just like, oh, they're blessing him. Oh, man. Oh, this sucks. Oh, God. This has been so uncomfortable in here now. Now I've got restless leg syndrome. <laughs> I bless them. I bless them. You have to speak the blessing because that's a sign of repentance when you surrender to the authority of Christ and you begin to say it. I bless them. Guys, I'm getting ready to do the cast out phase. We're almost there. Oh, good. And yeah, I know that you're wondering. almost there, but I need you to say this. Somebody in the chat said that when I said about the renouncing of Ahab and Jezebel, they could barely get the words out. Listen, you have to say it. You have to say oh it. God. There's something about when you speak these-, these poor people, man. Like I just, you know, the people in the chat and I, and it's a good point. I don't know if they're being, uh, you know, if they're being manipulated or if they're just trolling him or if they're, they are actually people with mental health issues that are just, you know, playing along with the delusion. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how, what's happening here, but um, this is, it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> I mean, that's just really, I don't know. It's just gross that people do shit like this. These words that I'm telling you, some of you said on the inside of me, I don't want to. If you have accepted Christ as the Lord of your life, Lord is a kingdom terminology that means he owns it all, everything. And you can't bless those who curse you. You you have to, you need deliverance. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's a weird way of like, like basically giving the Webster's dictionary defines Lord as... <laughs> Look at this comment. This is good. You're doing a good job. Yes, I was having trouble speaking some of them, but then you force yourself to speak. That's it. Because that's how the deliverance happens. Yes. Somebody says is, del- is yawning exactly, deliverance. Yeah. Yawning yeah. is a manifestation. It doesn't mean you got full deliverance. And that's why we're getting ready to do that. You got to vomit out the black stuff. Once the black stuff's vomit out, out, then that's when you really got fucking what? But yawning, you're close. You're close. You know, the demon's getting uncomfortable, giving him the restless leg syndrome and all that. But uh, Andrew said, if I followed all his instructions and it actually worked, I would never be sick or have any accidents or have any financial difficulty or be rejected by anybody, etc. What a fairy tale. Yeah, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, that is just that. I mean, that's how you know it's bullshit, right? Because like. Somebody's going to leave right here, pull out the driveway and be like, wait a second. What the fuck? I just cast that demon out, man. (laughs) I didn't think I had to look where I was going. I cast out on things. But I'm trying to break it all up the most I can. Break the chains. I'm trying to do mass deliverance right now, okay? Here's the next one. Mass deliverance. Try and do masturbation. Say this with me now. Just say this out loud. I break and release myself. Say it. I break and release break. myself you from break all yourself? self-inflicted curses from by negative and... words I have spoken. I'm going to so, do it again. Stay right. up. So when you're like, man, that was dumb. I shouldn't have done that. What are you dummy? You're a dummy. Stupid, stupid, stupid. That's like demons like going into you like, oh, they called themselves stupid. Better get in that guy. <laughs> all of us stupid demons. <laughs> Jesus, how weird. Hell out. I break and release myself. I mean, to be fair, like credit, like credit where credit's due. Although it doesn't, he's not really saying like not to talk that way about yourself at all. He's just saying like, just make sure to do this magic spell afterwards. But, you know, negative self-talk is a bad thing. Like you don't want to do that. That's not helpful to anybody. You know, uh, it tends to just, it, it tends to, to you know, uh, make your mood a little bit less, uh, less positive, right? Uh, and doing that over and over throughout time, like you tend to, you know, can cause like some uh, pretty serious emotional issues if you continuously do it. But anyway, all self-inflicted curses by negative words that I have spoken over myself. Okay, <laughs> now what, this is chat. the last step. Grab your garbage can if you need to vomit. Grab your towel. Grab your paper towels. Some of you are going to begin to scream right now. You're going to begin to manifest and demons are going to come out. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to say something. And what I'm going to ask you to say is a command. All believers have authority 
to command demons to come out that you are not <laughs> exempt from what I'm saying right now. Okay. You are not exempt. In other words, the authority that test is given you, it works for you just like it works for someone else. Okay. Okay. So you have a to demons. So that means that when you say right. this word, this these phrases, I'm going to give you one last phrase. You are going to begin to experience deliverance. And some of you are going to start puking. Some of you are going to start crying. Some of you are going to start screaming. Some of you are going to start yawning. And you are going to begin to experience <laughs> deliverance. And I need you to turn up your television. Like puking, convulsing. And yawning. You're going to yawn too because it's actually been a little bit boring. I'm um, just kind of repeating stuff <laughs> over and over. Jeez. Turn up your iPad. Turn up your phone. Turn it up, okay? Because I'm going to start up. to go in now, oh, and I'm going to do okay. this, okay? So I want everybody to say this with me. This, this is the last and final stage. Say this with me. I want you to say, say this with me now. If it's I the same command. Thing. Come on, now you got to be bold. I Don't whisper this. Don't whisper this. Don't say it under your breath, okay? Uh -huh. I want you to say this. I wonder if, like, the, the New York apartment is, like, next to somebody. I command! <laughs> like, you know, like, what the fuck is going on next door? What is this guy doing? <laughs> Authority with boldness loudly because you're this is you're going to get your greatest freedom some of you are going to instantly be healed of physical conditions that had demonic origins we've already seen ears open during this broadcast some of you are going to do <laughs> things seen... you're medicated for you're never even going to need the med medication for after this oh, you're going to you. begin to experience there's that then there he just basically said it stop taking your medications you crazy people that are uh believing in these demons inside you you're never going to need medication again. You're a fucking piece of shit, sir. You're a fucking piece of shit. And I don't I don't know what damage he just did to all these people that are believing this nonsense, but there was some there's definitely some damage that was just done just now. Fucking ass. So much freedom, so much freedom. I'm telling you some of you are going to feel light after this is over. You're going to feel so good like you never felt before, but I need you to say this and say it boldly. Okay, say it boldly. Okay, say this boldly and loudly. Whoo, look at this. <laughs> Somebody's <laughs> door just okay. physically opened in their house. <laughs> Somebody had, had a door just open in the comments. They said, my door just physically opened something left. Somebody says, I feel sick. <laughs> Go grab a garbage. Come on. <laughs> Who is fucking with this guy? Man? <laughs> and you know, People just lie. You know what I mean? Like a lot of times something like uh, uh, they'll, they'll just uh, like over exaggerate something that happened, you know, and be like, oh, I better write that down. You know, it's it's just ah, it's sad. It's sad because <laughs> they're all like they're, they're gaslighting themselves. They're, that's what they're literally doing right now. He's gaslighting them and they are like in turn gaslighting themselves. <laughs> Jeez, he's gaslighting him now, back because that's these demons are about to come out. I need somebody from my team to block the scammer that's on my page scamming right now because it's funny. Right when I get ready to go to this last step, literally somebody starts can't scamming on Facebook. You can't even make this up. Somebody's chest feels heavy. Okay, I'm getting ready though. Yeah, somebody. Dude, you could you could easily make that up. I'm just saying, man. Like you can make up literally anything. Okay, there's a play where uh, people pretend to be cats. You can make up anything. Man. That's, that's the point of that. Heart rate going up. It's because there's this in your physical body. These demons are getting ready to leave. Okay. I want you to say this now boldly. Okay. Say this loudly and boldly. I command. Say it. I, I command. command. Every I command. demon hiding Every demon. and operating <laughs> behind a curse to behind. come out of me in the name of oh. Jesus. He's like operating behind a curse. I can't help but like picture some like construction worker demon like operating a machine. <laughs> but the machine is a curse. <laughs> no, that's too funny. Say it again. I oh, command man. every demon hiding and operating behind a curse to come out in the name of Jesus. Sarah Lee says, I feel like throwing up bad. 
Come on, just begin to, to just Come on, manifest. <laughs> Don't hold it back right now, guys. Time to be shot. This is what the fuck, man. Just do it. Just throw it up. If you need to use your finger, you know, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this guy? I just need everybody watching me to throw up. No, it's not it the time to hold work. it back. It it In the name of Jesus, I every demon that's hiding, every demon that's hiding, I clout. In the name. Every that's hiding, demon that's hiding, I call you out and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. I command you to come out of them in the name of Jesus. You are no longer welcome in their body, in their soul. You have no right. You have no authority. <laughs> and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Don't, don't out, don't... up. And out in the name of Jesus, <laughs> up and out in the name of Jesus, every what? demon of Jezebel and Ahab, up and out in the name of what Jesus, the every demon of what is a what, what is a Jezebel demon? What is like I've heard that so many times now, <laughs> it's insane. Like it's this constant with the the Jezebel. What's that like a like sexual lust? <laughs> like I don't an Ahab and we said Ahab, like don't get a obsessed over a wet wait did he say it? is that the name he said <laughs> don't be obsessive about a great white whale and get yourself killed okay don't <laughs> depression every demon of anxiety every demon of fear up and out in the name of jesus every demon coming from curses from the bloodline of oaths and contracts we break it in the name of jesus and cast you out out every demon of the occult <laughs> i command you to come out right now of witchcraft sorcery divination out psychic mediums out 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 like out all... in the name of jesus in the name... this is like all this guy does look at this jesus you interest i bind you and count now <laughs> it just ends it just drops off i don't think that you can add one ounce oh, power that's hilarious. To jesus christ what the fuck this guy, this guy's got something wrong with him, man. Like that, that is not healthy. And the other video I had, he was like angry, calling out like other pastors because they weren't calling, you know, they weren't talking about the demons enough. And he was like yelling, like shouting about it almost. Like, I don't care what the other your pastor says with his bad theology. <laughs> I was like, wow, man, calm down, dude. He's like, no, no, I'm not calm. I'm. The, they need to get back to with the demon stuff. This is crazy. Just like <laughs> it's it's so funny the amount that they call out each other. Those are I think are my favorite of these these types of uh, videos. They're always calling out like other people uh, within their <laughs> within their little uh, like I guess denomination and being like they're bad at the the stuff though. They're they're the ones that are bad at it. So <laughs> all right, John. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, you know, what do we say to the haters, discriminators, and masturbator shamers? Fuck off. <laughs>